Virgos, you know, what comes to mind for Virgos to me is one Saturn and Pisces for them is that it's a whole new world in relationships for them. And most Virgos I know have sort of always been unhappy with relationships. I haven't ever met, a, I actually don't think I've met a, a happy Virgo in a relationship and maybe they're, they're at home happy and they're not watching my shows. I don't know. Like, <laughs> so I understand how that works, but um, I think that this is a time where they're finally getting it right with themselves and treating themselves the way they deserve to be treated. And that in turn is going to attract the people that they deserve. And that could be, by the way, if you have romance, it might be business. If you have romance, it might be friendship or strategic alliance. And the North Node in Aries is, I think, saying for them, you've got to get comfortable being uncomfortable to get there. So, you know, Virgos like it their way. And I'm just going to say in 2024, it's not going to go your way, at least because you don't realize what you need at the core of it. So the New Year's resolutions uh, for Virgo is to fall in love with my own life. So I think Virgos really need to focus on what they like, like get super anal Virgo retentive about these are all <laughs> things I totally love and ignore the things they don't love. And um, the second is to believe in and love myself. So I think, you know, again, use that Virgo hyper awareness to really love your life and to love yourself. And I think Virgos are going to just skyrocket if they take that advice. Your thoughts? Yeah, I had time to party, Virgo. I think that was like the first bit that I got that you need to get out there and like have a good time. And literally the second thing I wrote down was uh, double down on the good stuff when you see it. So, you know, when good things enter into your life, you know, this reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune, which I, you know, everybody always gets. But Virgo, you seem to get with me quite a bit anyway. And, uh, you know, double down on the good stuff. Interesting. And the Wheel of Fortune, you know, I think Virgos think the Wheel of Fortune and they assume it's leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but what you're saying is the fortune's coming? Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, the Wheel of Fortune to me is like, it, it's not about good or bad either. Uh, you know, it's like when good things happen, double down on the good stuff. But also when bad things happen, you take care of them right away so they don't become bigger issues. It's about, you know, living at the center of the wheel. When we live at the center of the wheel, again, we don't run away from the bad stuff either. We just, we just take care of it right away. Oh, that's brilliant insight in the center of the yeah. wheel. The last thing I'll say for Virgos is Pluto and Capricorn for the last 15 years has been them revolutionizing their ideas of love. Hmm. And I think Virgos have always been very controlling around love. That's like, <laughs> it's it's kind of paradoxical because they, they want it exactly the way they want it. And then they're never satisfied. And I got to tell you, Virgo, it's only satisfying when it's something you didn't control. When it's a surprise yeah. that came upon you, you know, so I think they're finally taking their hands off of like having to control love or having to control creativity, which I think puts them in the place to be in the center of that wheel. Yeah. Love is not logical. You know, I say that all the time. And, you know, so if you're trying to make it logical, it's just never going to work. Well, I know Virgos, it's like, they, they come up, they like, I want a man that's this way and 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 this way. And I'm just like, where's the fun in that? Like, yeah, well, then fun. go create a robot at Tesla, you know, like if that's what you want, you know, kind of thing. So <laughs> I think they're freeing themselves from that this year, which is really great. And I'm excited to see Virgos just to wrap up on yeah. them. It's like, um, I've seen them m very much unhappy and dissatisfied. And I think this year, this might be the first year we might see a Virgo smile. <laughs> <Hey>, love it. <laughs> it's serious joy.